mega technical analysis, short term predictions based solely on what I'm seeing in the charts, disregarding every, every fundamental or catalyst about this company, just giving you guys short term predictions based on what I'm seeing in the chart, starting off with ticker symbol GEVO. We do have this ascending level of support that has been validated as far back as the 14th of January and as recently as the last trading day. I do see, let me show you this indicator. I could, this is the, these are, these are Bollinger bands. Okay. When these hook in like this, this means it's going to be decreased volatility in the near term. They, that's not a perfect stat, right? Nothing in technical analysis is, but based on what I'm seeing and with these bands and with these two resistance, this resistance and this support level, I do see bouncing between this roughly 13, 20, 13 dollars and 20 cents up to 15 dollars and 56 cents. I see us bouncing in that range for the near future, unless we get some sort of catalyst or the markets just dump completely or they start spiking right okay but based on what i'm seeing in the charts that is having the that has the most high likelihood in my in my non-financially advisable opinion do your own research and due diligence okay um let's take a look at the daily rsi see how overbought we are Sometimes doesn't like the load. 7140 on the relative strength index. Anything over 70 is going to be overbought. Anything under 30 is going to be oversold. So yeah, we are, we are overbought. Okay. So be careful. I'm not going to say this has a higher chance of breaking to the downside because I know a ton of people are bulls on this company. But once we come to the end of this level, I would just be extremely careful, especially if you got a position on this ascending level of support. But if you are a major bull and you want to catch, yeah, and you want to catch an entry on this ascending level, here are your entry points. I do not really recommend this, but if you are a bull, it could be a good decision. Anything could be a good decision, right? Um, so roughly thirteen dollars and seventeen cents, all the way up to well. <laughs> all right, let's just do the couple days because that's a huge range. Okay, thirteen dollars and twenty cents to thirteen dollars and sixty cents um, on the sixteenth. Okay, so that's for the fifteenth and the sixteenth. So Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, that's what that's what that is. That support level range is for. Okay. If you are extremely bullish, again, I do not recommend that really. I'm not saying, I'm not saying I'm bearish or bullish on this company. Okay. But, um, just be very careful with this one. All right. Next ticker, we're looking at PLTR, Palantir Technologies. Okay. This is a weird one. Let's start out with this ascending level of support. We have validated this as far, and this is on the four hourly chart, guys. This is where I'm getting this information. We're looking at a validation as far back as November 5th. So a lot of touch points in here, and this is going to be the bull pennant that we are forming. This could be a little rough. Okay, feel free to draw your own chart if you're thinking about trading these. In fact, I recommend this. This is Weeble. If you don't have it already and you want an easy chart set up, there is a link. But this a level of ascending support, you need to have these drawn out so you don't have to rely on my videos if you're thinking about trading these. It's extremely important. Okay, we do have two descending levels of resistance. It's kind of like take your pick on which one is actually going to come to fruition. Personally, I, I don't really see a clear winner here. Either of these could be it. But just to be conservative, when we draw our price target, which we're going to do right now, let's draw the conservative one. It's really easy to draw a price target. Just draw a trend line from the top to the bottom of the triangle that you are in. Price target is going to be roughly $48. Okay, if we break to the upside, and this is a bull pennant, of course, okay, here's the flag pole, and then here's the flag. Um, so this is our price target, okay, $48. All right, if we break to the upside, and if we break to the downside, of course, I'm going to give you both sides always. You guys know this, okay? downside would be $15. And again, guys, these price targets do not always come to fruition. Be careful when you draw a price targets and you're, and you're just setting your buy or you're setting your sell order there. Like if we were break, if we were broke, if we broke to the upside here, don't just set your buy, your, your sell limit order at 48.06. Okay. You need to watch this because a lot of times these price targets don't come to fruition. Cause look at this. Look, guys, we got, we got all time highs or at least 52 week highs, I, I believe, uh, sitting at $45. Do you know how many sell limit orders are going to be there? You might not get to your sell limit and it may just come right back and, and touch this support. And then you're barely up a couple percentages. Okay. This is why it's important to have these charts drawn up realize that this is not financial advice and and anything can be wrong with these indicators okay they just they're not always perfect okay let's draw up the, let's let's take a look at the bands okay this is actually really interesting uh they are actually hooking out right now and typically when you hook when the, when these hook out this is a sign of increased volatility number one and number two it's a sign that w whichever way it went as far as the in regards to the price action it will continue going that way so this is actually an extremely bearish sign 
potentially a good news good news for people who are looking to establish a position because if these bands if their indication comes to fruition we could see a a, t- a retest of this ascending level of support that personally i do not see breaking i am pretty bullish on this company um, i don't know a, a ton about it but i am a little bit bullish at least okay i would recommend an entry point not financial advice do your own research this can break easily I can, and i can always be wrong roughly thirty dollars Anywhere from thirty dollars to thirty dollars and seventy-seven cents. Okay, so thirty to thirty-one dollars. That's going to be your entry point for Palantir Technologies, in my opinion. But we would have to break this Fibonacci level of thirty-eight point two percent. So if you want to take an entry point now, you know it's, it's up to you. Uh, I, I like getting a good deal. I don't like chancing it. But if you are extremely bullish, that isn't that is an opportunity for you. Taking a little look at the RSI, we are extreme guys. Check this out. We're fifty on the RSI. That is a, an extremely bullish sign. Okay, uh, typically this is you know this. This is exactly neutral almost okay but but with our stocks that we watch we are overbought all the time because we're just running up and we're just making insane gains okay a little bit of bragging there but you know it's the truth if you watch this channel you know this okay so um so this is that the rsi points to an even stronger um entry point uh, this ascending level is going to be a great entry point in my opinion next up taking a look at uh, ticker symbol vyne um, okay, let's clean this chart up a little bit. Okay, this one, we do have another bull pennant. Um, again, on this one, a lot of unclear charts that we're looking at today, so far at least. We do have two ascending supports that it's not really clear to me which one we're going to be looking at. We do have two touch points on both of them. Okay, they're intersecting here. If you don't, if you're like, wait, where the heck did it disappear? Okay, they're both right here. Okay, they're just, they're like on top. They're literally like on in the exact same position. But we do have two touch points, and it's not clear to me whether this is going to be a validation on this one, whether this one is going to come to fruition or this one to come to fruition. They could both be supports, right? They could both be supports who knows but but what's more important is if we actually look at the price target on this <laughs> this is going to be an enormous price target you already know all right let's draw this up oh no 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 do not want to do that okay <laughs> let's let's zoom out to the daily okay price target is going to be almost five dollars guys <laughs> almost five dollars um let's look at the four hourly uh let's try two hourly there we go um, okay, so we're currently trading at like $2.06. Okay, you're looking at nearly a 100% increase if this price target came to fruition. But guys, look at how many resistance levels we would have to break. These Fibonacci levels do typically act as resistance once you break down and confirm the breakdown. So just be careful. I do not expect this. I mean, based on, I mean, yeah, you could easily hit this price target with a, you know, this is a penny stock. This is extremely volatile, a ton of upside and a ton of downside, but there are a ton of resistance levels. If we do break to the upside, do not set your buy, your sell limit order all the way at the price target. That's my recommendation. Taking a look at the relative strength index, you know, fairly neutral, 57, 50, 57, 73, you know, not much to say there. All right. Take, uh, let's take a look at the, the bands really quick. See if there's anything we can see from these. Um, so they are starting to hook in. So this is actually a bullish sign, in my opinion. This is why once you see them hook in, this is a sign of decreased volatility and, um, basically just represents it's going to start trading sideways near term and of course it changes it all eventually it's going to start hooking out again but right now it's going in the distance between these is becoming shorter they're getting these two red lines right here these two outside bands they're getting closer this basically proves my proves this uh this bull pennant that has this ascending level rather than this one Okay, this one instead of this one, it basically proves that it could be trading inside this level and then going for a breakout. If it was more volatile, then I, I would think, okay, maybe there's more room to the downside and this level of support is going to come in. But so that's pretty much what we're looking at as far as that one. Next ticker, uh, Airbnb. Okay, let's clean this up for you. Um, Okay, let's try the four hourly on this one. Okay, wow, this is an interesting chart. Okay, guys, I told you this is there's a lot of unclean charts in here. Okay, um, so personally, I you know this is an interesting company. I did not think it would have this much of a run, especially after the IPO. The IP, it IPO'd really well, I think. Um, okay, also look at this candle look all the way down. Market manipulation, anyone? Um, but this is the four hourly, right? So you know, flash crash in the markets could cause that. You know, anything could cause that, right? But 
as far as the technicals go, with this ascending level support, I do see short term being broken. Okay, this has been an insane run, and I don't know a ton about this company, but this has been an insane run, and we are approaching basically two key levels we're closing in it's going to have to break one way or the other but if we do break to the downside guys keep this in mind if we break this ascending level of support that i'm highlighting now that has been validated in the recent past get get your eyes on and add this to your watch list if you want this is going to be a strong entry point especially if we broke it like on the 15th on wednesday i'm getting that number right here if we broke to the downside and then we just came right here to test these two levels this 23.6 percent retracement level sitting at around the 200 dollars mark that is actually a perfect entry point in my opinion especially because it's an even number right those, those 200 300 dollars 10,000 1,000 those even numbers like clean easy to read easy to calculate numbers those are going to have extra support and resistance levels depending on if you're coming down to them or up to them right so this is going to be basically three levels of support here you have this ascending level that has been validated many times in the past going as far back as all the way down there okay also we have the 23.6 percent retracement level and we have the 200 dollar which a ton of people are going to be buy, uh, going to be loading up shares, setting their buy limits right there. That is going to be a strong entry point, in my opinion. If you're an extreme bull and you think this is going to upside when we come to this channel, get an entry point at this ascending level, uh, which is going to be roughly 207 to 213 going uh, in Wednesday. That's going to be roughly what you're looking at as far as this one. I'll take a look at the band, see what we're looking at. Um, so the slightly, slightly coming in. So this pretty much adds to my thesis that we are going to be trading sideways and then possibly breaking to the downside. I would say there's a higher chance breaking to the downside here. Okay. I'm not bearish on this company. I don't know enough to say if I'm bearish or bullish, but short term based on the technicals, I am probably a little bearish when we come to the end of this. Okay. I can still be a bull long term and medium term and just short term be a bear. Okay. You guys need to understand that. Um, taking a little look at the RSI. Um, Okay, so we are pretty overbought. We are 60, sitting at 69, 63. So, you know, just be careful, guys. Be very careful if you're going to trade this. And if you're in this or thinking about establishing a position, this is not financial advice. Do your own research, guys. Next up, it's going to be look, it's going to be Tattooed Chef. Um, okay, this is a really interesting chart. This is a really weird one, guys. You may be looking at this and thinking, Brandon, what have you done? Okay, this is really crazy. I've never seen anything like this, really, actually. Okay, because I see a couple of things here. This is the first thing. Okay, take a look at these gold levels. I want you to focus on these gold support levels and resistance levels, okay? What does this look like to you guys? This is a cup and handle right here. Okay, this is a rough, this is fair, fairly textbook, really. You know, this is about as good as they come typically in the markets. Okay, we do have this level of uh, resistance that basically got validated perfectly. Okay, it, uh, not perfectly, but almost perfectly. Um, and then here's the handle. Look at these gold lines that I've outlined. It, yeah, there was a false breakout, and we do have a couple wicks going below with false breakdowns, but this is a handle potentially. And once we break this, this is a very good, a lot of people are very bullish long term on this. Um, so once we break this handle, look for an entry point there because let's go ahead and drop a price target on this. And this is the daily chart. So this is extremely macroscopic, right? I mean, we could be trading in this level for another another month, right? And then we also have this bull pennant, right? The, this whole pattern could be a bull pennant. We could be trading in between here for the rest until freaking um october oh my gosh right but this is going to be the price target okay let's say we just broke out next trading day okay let's just say that okay i don't even know if we're going to be able to see it okay okay the price target is 34 dollars, guys that's a that's a that's huge upside huge upside but the another pattern guys you may be wondering what the heck is this other pattern right this other pattern is actually another cup and handle that we have right here okay this is the cup Okay, the okay, this is a false breakout right here. Try to ignore this if you're trying to see the cup and handle. This is the cup, and this is the handle, and these white uh lines represent the handle. So once guys, either way, just draw this up. Watch out. Once we have a big day and break out, watch for um this other resistance line that you might want to draw on the daily. We do have a couple touch points there. We have three. Do we have a false breakout? We have one, two, false breakout, three, f almost four touch points. So watch for a breakout of that and then confirmation. And then you could probably go and ride it to ride it to the upside, especially if you're holding long term. Um, also look for an entry point on this on this bottom handle of this gold handle. Um, anywhere from about twenty-two dollars 
um, $21, that range, $22, $21. That's roughly a range of support that I do recommend. Relative strength index case, short term, doesn't really matter, right? I mean, we're just trading sideways really on this one, but we are looking at 47.60, fairly, fairly over, oversold. So, you know, maybe you want to get an entry point when, uh, soon. So not financial advice, but that's pretty much what we're looking at as far as tattoo chef. Let's look at materials corporation. This is an interesting one. Um, Okay, let's do let's let's do one hour. Let's do hourly on this one. Okay, I'm actually looking to get a position in the stock. Okay, their earnings are this week. I, I think they're going to be on the 18th, if I remember correctly. But this is some I did sell a little early. I I got a position like I don't know where I got exactly. I got it somewhere down here below 30, I think, and then I rode up to like 36, 37. I sold before the peak, but I got pretty close. I am looking to re-enter and re-enter. Hopefully, it doesn't just run up this week completely. If it does, that's fine. I don't chase. I if it, if the trade is not something I really like, I will not trade out. Just go for something else. Okay, it's that simple, guys. That's how you can eliminate 90% of bad trades, right? Just don't just be a spoiled brat, right? Like zip trade says it's a very good tip don't take trades that you don't love if there's any hesitation any any uh timidness and nervousness in your mind about a trade don't take it look for the next one there's always another trade if you're looking short term to take advantage of these earnings we're not going to get into the earnings this is not a full in-depth video about materials corporation but their earnings there are a ton of reasons why their earnings are going to be spectacular and this is also a long-term play for me you guys know i do have an end of your end of year price target so this is an extremely safe and low risk play for me okay any any entry on any of these supports is probably going to treat you very well now of course the earnings can still be bad this is not financial advice i don't see that happening at all Although I don't, I see like a 90% chance that the earnings are very good. You know, maybe not. Maybe we, okay, maybe that's totally wrong. Okay. 90% <laughs> of statistics are false, right? And I just made that one up on the fly. So that's probably like 99% wrong, right? But, any of these support levels, in my opinion, are going to treat you extremely well. Anywhere from $34 to $35. Uh, if it dips to 33 again to this ascending level, I will be loading up. I will be loading up shares if we touch that level again, probably, prior to the earnings. And this all can change, right? News, catalyst, anything. You got to assess news and see what to do with it. Okay, that, any of that can change my mind. But personally, I'm extremely bullish on this company, short term and long term. Uh, 57 is what we're looking on the RSI. Uh, you know, fairly overbought. That's what we're looking at. Okay, not much else to say there. Um, next up, we're looking at ticker symbol NIO, NEO. Okay. Okay, sorry, bull, bulls of NEO. I'm sorry, I'm not actually in this company. I don't recommend stocks like this, but this is, you know, there's a ton of bulls are in this company. The great long term hold, probably. Um, so. Keep keep in mind that my bear that I'm not actually biased towards being a bull in the stock. If I if I seem a little a little harsh on this, okay. But essentially, we've basically been doing nothing. I mean, we have bounced off this. Uh, we have been bouncing off this ascending level of support. If you are looking to get an entry for a day trade, swing trade, or long term, this is going to be your entry point on this ascending level. Okay, short term. Let's let's actually detail where that is. Roughly fifty six dollars to $57 anywhere in that range is going to treat you probably pretty well um, in the long term. If you if you're bullish on this long term, that is going to treat you well if your thesis is correct. Um, as far as the Fibonacci levels, if you can catch it actually right when these two intersect, sitting at roughly 5640, depending on what time of day it is, which is why you guys need to have Weeble and draw up roughly these same charts so you know exactly where to go with your entry points and actually exit points short term let's look at the daily relative relative strength index we're looking uh, almost in neutral okay so 55 87 fairly neutral um so really, there's really not much to say here let's look at the bands really quick see if we'll see if they uh indicate something okay the, guys the, these are hooking in they're indica indicating uh decreased volatility so don't be expected if you see less not that much movement for neo in the next couple of days you know but of course, you can always be wrong. Next ticker we're going to be looking at is NNOX. Okay, this is why you want these bands, guys. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, we did a hook out, and now we are hooking out even more. Okay, not on this one we're staying roughly the same, but this one we are hooking out more. This in, this indicates to me be careful. We are right on this ascending level. Let's actually take a, let's take a look at the hourly. This might actually be more accurate. Yeah, I like the hourly better. Hourly is usually my go-to chart time frame, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, we are hanging on the support, guys. So be very careful. Usually I say 
entry entry point these ascending levels and these bull pennants are going to treat you very well but guys look at look at the recent price action we did see a bounce on the 11th of february we barely barely moved up that is very bearish and then we tested it again barely are bouncing currently so just be very careful guys this one i did not recommend an entry point on this one based on the technicals alone but if you are extremely bullish and you know something that i don't which you probably do if you're if you're informed on this company i am not informed on this company anything from 6460 to 6470 um, on the next day of trading will treat you extremely well as far as past that guys draw this up on Weeble so you actually can know exactly the price targets that you need price targets entries exits all you need to know let's look at the daily relative strength index really quickly we are looking at 50k we're neutral nothing to say there just be careful with this one guys be very careful next up taking a look at INPX okay I actually typed in the wrong one <laughs> INPX, we are going to be looking at a bull pennant. Again, this one is very weird. Okay. <laughs> Typically, you know, I would want to do this, but we have a lot of touch points. We have four touch points in this one. This is, I don't really like this formation. This is kind of scary for me just because uh, this is kind of weird and this is not really like my bread and butter, right? But it is a bull pennant, right? But this is weird because according to the charts, we should be seeing it break to the upside or downside in the pre market on tomorrow tuesday the 16th okay now if we do see that draw this chart up if you're thinking about trading that not financial advice if we do see a break to the upside look for an entry point maybe average in a little bit when we're a little up here and then if it bounces, if, if it does if it does try to test this ascending level again then that is probably the level to load up shares if you are super bullish on this that is what i'm seeing in the charts for this one let's look at the bands really quick see if we can get something okay this actually this is a little uh this is pointing this is a little evidence to for my original thesis of trading sideways until we hit that pre-market and then because these are hooking in and uh, indicating a smaller volatility for the stock short term and then of course these can hook out at any time guys look at this okay <laughs> but if it does break out look for an entry point if you are bullish on this company taking a little look at the rsi if it loads we are trading at 64.89, so fairly overbought. So be careful. Be careful with this one. I don't know anything about this. It's kind of a weird chart, so just play this carefully. See what happens. Okay. See if this bullpen is completely, uh, completely misguided and it's completely wrong. Okay. Uh, we do have a we do have a, a fair amount of touch points on each resistance and support level, but just be careful with this one. That is my recommendation. My non-financial advice recommendation. Let's take a look at ALLRN. We do have, let's clear this up. Okay, on this one, we are going to be taking a look at the four hourly on this one. We do have a, an insanely large bull pennant on this. Going back as far as the 5th of January is where we is when we started this bull pennant. We do have a couple validations. Actually, let's move two hourly. Okay, two hourly is going to be more accurate on this one, actually. Okay, we do have a couple validations on this ascending level and a lot of validation on this descending level. Okay, we are going to break out day according to the charts. It's going to be roughly the 18th of February going into the pre-market and open on the 19th of February. So this is actually, if you are extremely bullish on this company, this is, this is, we are closer to the support level than the resistance level. This, right now, this actually is a potential entry point, but obviously I don't like the chase. I would rather get an entry point exactly on this ascending level. Typically, we do see a big bounce off of this ascending level. Okay, check this out. When we, when we touched it, barely validated it, we went all the way up to to test the resistance level and now we are back we have not validated it perfectly in the past and now we are validating it a little bit of a false breakdown there but we did validate this roughly so we could be seeing like in the past we could be seeing a test of this rejection line and that would be a lot of upside that would be what 10 20 percent of upside roughly there so entry points short term if you are bullish on this company not financial advice i'm not trying to pump this okay i don't have a position in any of these stocks that i'm covering today you will see my positions later if you do not know already roughly 1.951 one dollar and ninety five cents to one dollar and ninety seven cents that's going to be your entry point for tuesday um draw these up so you know exactly what they are i'm not going to be updating the stock every day taking a look at the relative strength index we are looking at 56 58 uh fairly neutral not really much to say there um so just this actually this chart does look pretty sweet actually taking a look at the bands 
we do have some some decreased volatility volatility that I, I that is indicated to me because we are decreasing the distance between these two outside bands. That means decreased volatility typically, and they can always be wrong. Catalyst trumps all these indicators, in my opinion. Usually, taking a look at SLRX. Um, let's take a look at the hourly. We do have another bull pennant yet again. Let's draw up a price target for this actually really quickly. Right off the bat, okay, this is going to be a nice price target. We are trading in between and we are trading closer to the support. So this is a potential entry point if you are very bullish on the stock. Let's take a look at the daily so we can see it. $4.08. <laughs> that is an extreme... Uh, that's that's a lot of upside, okay. But there's a lot of risk, okay. If we break to the downside, we do have a ton of support levels, but that is going to be a fall that you do not want to get left in, and you're you're going to be left holding the bag, okay. Just be careful if you are looking for an entry point. Uh, look for this first level support is going to be this 50% retracement level sitting at roughly two dollars and forty eight cents. Next level is going to be this outstanding level support. If you can catch this um, on the on the thirteenth, wait, what the heck, thirteenth? Okay, if you can catch this on this level right here roughly this is going to be an extremely strong entry point for you in my opinion um that's essentially what we're looking at rsi we're looking at 7408 on the relative strength index um yeah okay i just figured that out i was i was going over my head why this was the 13th okay that was the last day of trading oh my gosh i don't know why i forgot that okay but yeah we are trading close to the support level look for an entry point right around here at yeah i just said almost two dollars and fifty cents that is going to be an extremely strong entry point in my opinion not financial advice look to ride it up to this 38.2 percent uh, level of resistance it would be support typically but we did break down below and we did confirm the confirm the breakdown with all of these hourly hourly candles closing below it so that is going to be that is going to be acting as a level of resistance so be careful watch this draw this up so you know exactly what to do if you are in this one next up we're taking a look at itrm um, so this one, the chart is kind of inconclusive on this one, but this is actually a very bearish sign. Okay. I don't know anything about this company. If I did, perhaps I would be very bullish, but short term, we do have this ascending level that has been validated a couple times. If we move it a little bit up, we have been validated almost two to three times down here. And we did validate this perfectly with a bounce higher and with a rejection of this previous level of support sitting at roughly $2.40. We did reject and we tested the support again. And right now, based on what I'm seeing, we are breaking down right now of the support. Extremely bearish sign. If you are in this company, be very careful. We could be seeing a dump all the way to the 61.8% retracement level sitting at roughly $1.80. That is like more than, that's more than, an, that's like roughly 8% downside probably from where we're at right now. But just be very careful, guys. And of course, this level of, this level of support, it could be right here now. Right, we don't know exactly, but we did validate this level very recently. So, just you know, be careful. That's where I have it. That's that's where I think that's what I think is more likely. We did validate this right there. But if we start seeing upside, this could be the new level of support. So just be very careful. Um, taking a look at the relative strength index, we are trading at sixty three. 0.67 fairly over on the overbought side not not very overbought but that's what we're looking with this one guys be very careful let's take a look at the band see if we can get any extra information off of these okay we actually are seeing a well we are seeing a little bit of hooking out on this bottom one so that could be a bearish sign not really enough information based on these bollinger bands to give you an accurate um prediction based on that next ticker we're going to be looking at visl Let's take a look at the two hourly. Okay, this is really weird. <laughs> a lot of these are really weird today. Okay, this descending level or this ascending level of resistance currently has been validated going as far back as the 12th, uh, tw uh, 21st in December. This is going to be an, ext a, an extremely strong level of resistance, in my opinion. We did have a false breakout, but we have validated it plenty of times. Uh, if you are looking to get in on the stock, uh, we are closer to resistance than support, but I don't know anything about this company. This could be an amazing company. Uh, could have catalysts coming up. That, that could be why it's trading so high, but we did validate this level, this 38.2% retracement level. That is going to be your first level to watch if you are extremely bullish. It's not financial advice. It's sitting at roughly $3.84. That's going to be your first entry point. Uh, actually, I would probably put your buy limit order at three dollars and eighty eighty five cents um just because even numbers typically do get more limit orders put uh loaded there 
But personally, guys, based on the charts, I mean, let's take a look at the relative strength index, see if we can get some more information. Uh, we're looking at 63 case, so fairly neutral, you know, on the overbought side. But guys, I would be careful trading this one. We are approaching a resistance level. This was a previous support. We do have a perfect validation right here. This is going to be a, a resistance level. There, there will probably be some sell limit orders uh, at $4.32 roughly. So watch for a rejection off there. Maybe sell at the top here. And then if we if we come down here, then maybe load up some more shares. Play in this range. You can trade in this range for a while. This 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 upward trend, if you are a bull long term and you got in before, we are in an upward channel. So that is extremely bullish. Taking a look at the ball in Japan, we do have a little, well, we have a decreased volatility. Okay, so this actually does indicate to me that our original thesis of just playing this these two levels this 38.2 and this 23.6 percent retracement levels that could be very a very smart thing to do this is going to be decreased volatility so basically a lesser chance of breaking the two levels that we are nearest basically in my opinion not financial advice so take that for what it is um that's pretty much all i'm seeing let's take a look at the four hour this even get a little macroscopic okay obviously we, if you can get an entry point if this pulls all the way back to roughly three dollars that's going to be an extremely strong level uh of support as we can see right here we validated this level we went up tested this then we came back validated this we bounced and we brought we actually false break this is probably news but we did actually last time we validated this we did push all the way up to all-time highs or at least 52 week highs i believe so keep this in mind next up we're going to be looking at hive okay this one let's take a look at the two hourly i think this is going to be the best on this one Okay, this is a weird chart. Again, this is an OTC ticker. Be careful with this. Be careful with OTC security, guys. Also, be careful with the fees that your broker will charge you if you are trading these. That's why I don't typically trade these. Um, if you guys know of a broker that's free, by the way, please let me know in the comments. But we do have this ascending level that has been validated a couple times. If we do move this up a little bit, we did validate this perfectly. But if we move it back, we have more validations, but we have a false breakout. False breakouts, you do not want to see that on a ascending level of support that, that, that basically reduces its credibility and its, its strength. But at the same time, the more validations you have, the, the, the weaker it is. The more times something is touched, the, the higher chance it has of breaking. And we are currently trading... We are currently, this is this is a little bit of anecdotal uh, wisdom right here. This could be wrong, but typically when you see a test of all-time highs or 52-week or highs or month highs or whatever, and then you kind of hang around right in this little range, that typically means it's about to retest it and potentially break through. That's just anecdotal. That's what I see a lot of times. That's what I've seen with Bitcoin a lot um, and a lot of other stocks. But we are closer to this resistance level and we are closer to all time highs or 52 week highs. So be extremely careful. Look on the, on the two hourly chart, we're extremely overbought sitting at 80 on the relative strength index and on the daily, we are overbought as well. So be extremely careful for me personally, unless I, I'm not bull on this, I'm bull or bear on this company long term. I don't know anything about them, but I would be personally looking for an entry point on this ascending level of support or at least on this 30, 23.6% retracement level sitting at roughly $3 and 15 cents. That's going to treat you much better than buying in on these levels we are right on we are basically we closed basically right on the resistance level so watch out for the breakout if we do break out look for a confirmation of this level and then you can ride it all the way up to you know this resistance level wherever it is okay I, it will change based on when it is this is why you guys need weeble or at least some broker that you can copy these charts very simply and accurately um, so that's pretty much what we're looking at. Taking a look at the bands, we do have <laughs> we do have increased volatility. This is a bullish indicator, actually. When you see them hook out like this, whichever way they went, they have a higher chance of continuing that direction than not. They can be wrong. They've been wrong plenty of times before, but that is typically what happens a majority of the time, slight majority of the time, probably. So that is a bullish indicator. Okay, that's what we're looking at as far as Hive. Next up, let's take a look at LXXGF. Okay, this one similar chart to the last one. Um, we are we are testing currently this twenty three point six percent retracement level. What well, we did get a bounce. We did have a false breakout. This is very weird behavior. Actually, with OTC securities, these are even more volatile and unpredictable and unanalyzable from a technical analysis standpoint. We can still get some good information from it, but not as much as we were looking uh, if we were looking at, at like Bio Nano, for example, or some stock that is proven that that is higher than ten dollars, higher than five dollars. Right? These are cents and pennies that we're dealing with here usually. Okay, so just be careful with these. That's what that's what I'm 
saying also take this technical analysis with a grain of salt because of these o their in their OTC securities, right? If they were safer, they would be on the Nasdaq exchange. They're not, but we did validate this level. Let's take a look at how overbought we are. Okay, we are approaching overbought. We did have a, a significant run. Typically, what you see in this stock in the past, you will see a run up. You will see a test of this resistance. Then you will come all the way down, crashing down, test this test this support for a while. Then you will see a bounce. And then look, we just retested it again. Now, what's likely to happen based on the recent past? We are likely to go all the way down and test this support. Now, of course, we did just we did just verify this level of support right here, sitting at roughly one dollar and thirty five cents. Plus, there will be a ton of bulls on the stock, uh, loading up limit buy orders at one dollar because they want them to be listed. You have a much higher chance of being listed in the Nasdaq exchange when you are above one dollar than if you're trading below one dollar. But personally, I don't know anything about this company, but that's going to be your first entry point, not financial advice, $1.35 to $1. Next entry point is going to be this 38.2% retracement level, $0.92. Cents. And then the strongest level, if it actually dipped all the way down here, this probably this is unlikely, especially on the 16th. Okay, this is tomorrow. But if it does dip all the way down here to roughly $0.84, cents, that is an extremely strong entry point, in my opinion. And if it does drop all the way to this ascending level anytime, that's going to be your strongest level. I do not see this breaking based on solely on the technicals, news can easily trump that but that's going to be your strongest level of support in my opinion taking a look at my current positions um nothing has changed here feel free to screenshot this this is all, these are all my positions um okay okay i uh, someone that is new here might be thinking okay couldn't you just say these are your current positions and actually just be having other ones okay yeah that's true that's why i'm actually going to show you my account here are all my all my positions in weeble and here is how much i have in all of them This is exactly how much I have all of them. This is my position ratio. Um, oh, yeah. And by the way, you may be wondering, yeah, what the heck? Why is Amara and uh, Materials Corporation? Okay, actually, these already hit my price target. Okay, here's their current price. Uh, Materials Corporation, I think it did or it almost did. I'm trying to re-enter that lower. But, yeah, I already sold these. I already hit my price target. I've already made thousands of dollars off both of these. Um, so... So yeah, that I will be re but I'm still bullish on these just because I'm not holding them currently. I am still looking I'm looking to re-enter on these two plays specifically. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. Um yeah, these are this is how much I have exactly in every account. I hope you guys appreciate this because no other YouTuber does this. Literally, like very few of them do, especially finance YouTubers. Almost none, almost none of them do. None of them give this type of transparency. Okay, relevant information in regards to the title has finished now. Feel free to click off if you have more important things to do. Extra useful information. Do you guys prefer one mega technical analysis video covering ten to twenty stocks like this one, or do you just want to see like the the zone? Uh, and SENS type videos that I just do whatever you guys request. I, I cover all of it, in-depth technical analysis, uh, fundamentals, catalyst, business overview, all that stuff, and news, whatever else I see, you know, whatever it is that a, a particular company has that is interesting enough for me to show it to you guys. Which one do you guys want? Please let me know. In the comments below, a few YouTubers who are not scammers, in my opinion, not they could still be scammers and they could still be fake, right? They could be lying to you every second, okay? But in my experience, I've been watching these guys for a long time. These are probably your three most trusted after me, of course. <laughs> I had to throw myself in there, right? <laughs> I had to, I had to. Okay, dead, dead inside trades, trades, zip trader. These guys are pretty good. They have a good track record. I've been following them for a while. They their recommendations are usually solid. This is not financial advice. But these guys are pretty trustworthy, almost as trustworthy as the one and only, right? <laughs> I am the only one, but on a serious note, I am the only one to my knowledge to show all of my positions, my account, and my exact price targets for my positions with no ads, no wasting time, no asking for likes or subscribers. Okay, I'm allowed to waste your time in this section. Not in this section, though. Okay, before you see this screen is all business. After we go over all we need to that is not re uh, related to the title. Um... Be careful in the comments. Bitcoin bots are here. Bitcoin bots are here, guys. Be careful for them. They get like 30 likes, which is more than any other comment ever on this channel so far. Um, in like two minutes, okay, that's pretty much how. But why I think they're Bitcoin bots, right? How, how else would that happen? Instant target price is being hit, guys. Do not expect instant gratification. Investing, especially investing with me and following my advice, not financial advice. If you want to follow this not financial advice, you can follow. You can make a lot of money. If you would have done it on my first video detailing these six price targets, you would be sitting very very nicely right now but do not expect instant gratification not a get rich quick scheme
Stop Master app on, on iPhone. This is a good app. Get it. I recommend it. Okay. It's one of the easiest way to track ways to track futures, broader market futures, hedging, reducing risk in the market. One way to do that is, um, this stock right here, um, UVXY. This is, uh, this is basically just an, it has an inverse relationship with the broader markets. If the market goes up, this goes down. I do have like a thousand bucks in this because I am scared of a market crash. I, that's the only thing that can screw me over. This is basically insurance. Okay. Most people keep a little bit of drying power on them. As you can see, I'd only have $100 of overnight buying power. So, you know, this is my buying power. Essentially, this is my insurance against the market correcting or crashing. Okay. I will be selling this whenever it is, you know, whenever that correction happens, if it happens, I think there's a high chance of a correction this year. So I'll probably be holding this this year, no matter how down I am. Uh, currently, I'm down 80 bucks in it, 6%. .6%. Okay, I'm not worried about that because if this goes, the more this, I want this to go down, right? I, this is just for me to feel safe when for that potential crash. The more this goes down, the more my other plays go up. Because in my opinion, I can be wrong. The CEO can get shot tomorrow of any of these companies, right? But in my opinion, basically the only thing harming these plays, except this one, of course, the only thing harming these plays is the broader markets long term. I don't, the only thing that can screw me over on these plays and you guys, if you're in these plays is the broader markets dumping. Cause when the markets dump, everything dumps. Cause that's just, that's, that's the thing that sucks about the market or at least my way of playing the market. I truly do appreciate the overwhelming majority of comments, which are extremely positive. Thank you all so, so much. Please do, not, please do not hesitate to call me out on something. If I'm missing something, forgetting something I did, by the way, guys, I did miss there. There were a couple more tickers in here. There were like three tickers that I had to not cover that were requested because they just, I, we will, they're just not, they don't exist. Okay. That could be a typo on my issue on my part, but a couple of them, I, I hope you're just not, not just requesting random tickers, <laughs> just random letters that would, that would kind of suck, but you several brokers guys, this is, this is propaganda a little bit, but I do truly believe it. Okay. This is just trying to get you to use my Weeble link, but you know, it is, I do believe it. Okay. If you don't believe me, uh, try it. It's, it's completely free, right? There's no, there's no, uh, there's no fees or anything, right? Try it and see if you like it. In my opinion, Okay. It is the best. It is the best broker. Also follow stocks you own on Reddit and Twitter. There are free stocks available in the description. One of the only brokers, I think one of only two brokers that give you free stocks with no strings attached. The only, well, there is one string attached, I guess, if you consider it a string, you have to deposit 100 USD dollars. Um, on your initial first deposit. That's it. That's really easy. Okay. Most people do that anyway. All right. Pre-market and after hours trading with Weeble. This is another reason why it is the best in my opinion. Also, you know, technical analysis, super clean, super easy. They have every indicator you could wish for. Okay. Look how many indicators there are guys. And look at this. Okay. Alligator. See what alligator is. Okay. <laughs> look at all this stuff. Okay. Come on, stocks and you cover next. I will cover them in a mega technical analysis video like this, at least, or at least probably, unless you, unless you cover, unless you comment like random letters, right? Then I'm not going to cover it because it's not a stock. Open a Roth IRA. Do this, please. Weeble does offer this. Another reason, yet another reason to open a Weeble account with my link down below if you would like to. Comment any questions. I will answer them. The future does not consist of any asking for likes or subs or at or adding ads. That is never going to happen. If it does ever happen, if I do ever ask you for that stuff, it will certainly be after this, like during this section, after the real meat and potatoes of the video. Okay. Um, and you can, you can support the channel and that is indirectly, pretty directly actually affecting this becoming the new YouTube standard of getting straight to the point. No wasted time, no ads, no, no BS basically, in my opinion. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I know this has been long, but thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see y'all in the next one.